pleasant evening to each, a, to each and every one of you, especially to Mr. Janos. We are here as a group presenting our friendly ex- exercise for project, and we try our best to explain this project for just you can understand, which is the pizza ordering system. First, let's talk about the problem that we're doing and tackling for this exercise. First is, uh, by the way, our system would be the pizza system and it has a uh, three bars, three sizes and five add-ons and of course we have this text area which is our receipt for this system. Um, buttons that we use is radio buttons, checkbox and of course J labels and J text area. First we discuss the radio button variables that we we'll, that we will be using to our playboard. First this the Ardo Hawaiian for the Hawaiian RDO ham and cheese for the ham and cheese, RDO pepperoni for pepperoni, RDO small for the sizes, RDO medium, RDO large. And of course, in the right part area of the second panel is the label that will indicate the small price, medium price, and the large price that we'll be using and will be shown when the is ex- executed. And in the third panel, we see the add-ons on our pizza ordering system. We have the pepper, onions, black olives, green peppers, extra cheese. And below the three panels, we can see the J button that is named for the create order and has the variable name PTN create order. So first, let's See, let's see the specifications for every prices and every and every size of the flavors. First, we have the Hawaiian, and equivalent small size is 90 pesos. Medium 110, large 130. For the ham and cheese, 110 for the small, medium 130, and of course the large is 150. And to the pepperoni, small is 130, medium size is 150, and large size is 170. And specifications of add-ons, we have the pepper with the 5 pesos price, onions 10 pesos, black olives 15, green peppers 20 pesos, and of course the extra cheese with 25 pesos. And, and go to the source code of our code. And, and to start the explanation of our codes, here, here, here is Miss Christine Pregonero to start the discussion about our codes. Because flavor is already default to Hawaiian and small size in size, we also need to default the price in J level. We just need to change the text of each label. And before we start, all component that we use we need to set all into a private keyword. Private keyword is an access modifier used for attributes in constructors, making all variables accessible within the declared class. Now let's proceed to the problem. It said that the idea is to allow the user to select a pizza flavor, select the pizza size, and select his or her choice. For the add-ons, by default, when you first run the program, Hawaiian is the selected pizza flavor and small size is the default size selected. And he and the prices for the pizza flavor Hawaiian are displayed in the J label, J labels. Each time the user selects a pizza flavor, the prices displayed in the J label changes depending on the size which referred to the table of the prices. Selecting Adds ons of choice will be will give additional amount to the total order. Clicking the create order button will display the order summary in the J text area following the details shown in the sample screenshot. It is important to get the complete details of the order depending on the selection of the user, including the total price com- computed. Now let's proceed to our code. It said in the problem, we need to default the 
the source. Go to the source. We use the code ardohawaiian. Is set. Use the code ardohawaiian that set selected true. Yeah, that is the code we use. Now, let's proceed to our next step. We need to follow the prices for pizza flavor, which is Hawaiian, and it is dis- displayed at the J label. Each time the user click a pizza flavor, the price displayed in the J label changes depending on the size, which refer to the table of prices. In this line, we use if statement with the condition of if Ardo Hawaiian that is selected and we need to put the three variables which it said earlier of our J level for the prices and with the method of that set text. Then the price of each size and we will do the same process to the ham and cheese and pepperoni flavor. And this pizza flavor, we use a method group button. Group button to set the three radio button in a group of pizza flavor. And if you run the program, you can only choose one. Group button help a radio button to like when you click the ham, the pizza flavor Hawaiian will become true. The other two pizza flavor will become false. Now let's proceed to the next step by Green Heart. In this size button, we set a function. We set a function design. If you run the program and create an order, and the user wants a different size, the text a order summary will set text to null. It means zero and the create button will be set a, set enable to true to click and create order again inside straight to button we declare a method which is group button for pizza size we declare this method to set the three radio button into a new group group of pizza size and if you run the program You can only choose one and the other or the two other sizes is automatically false. Let's proceed to the next step. Now in the next step, we need to read the problem. Uh, in the next problem, Selecting add-ons of choice will give additional amount to the total order. Click, clicking the create order button will display the order summary in the JTEX area. Following the details shown in the, in the sample screenshot, it is important to get, get the complete details of the order depending on the selection including the total price. Now I made in the create button in the action perform create button create order button action perform line the codes in the create button i declare three data types and the temporary variables is flavor size owns equals to zero or null and i declare two data type called double for the price and add and equals to zero and and i use if else if nested by the format of if rdo hawaiian rdo hawaiian is selected this is the condition and i put some for execution flavor equals rdo hawaiian that get text price is equals to 90 pesos and size equals to RDO small that get text. If the user pick RDO Hawaiian and RDO small, automatically the flavor is RDO Hawaiian and automatically the price is 90 pesos and small is the size. And do this to, to size and same flavor up to flavor 
and all size is indicates the add-ons we also use the if statement and if the user selects the pepper for his for his add-on the price of pepper will automatically add to the selected size of the user and in the in the checkbox just like unlike the radio button checkbox is you can have more choice than only one in the radio button so if the user wants uh, a lot of add-ons he can he can check all he wants and uh, specific price of each add-ons will automatically added to the price of, of size that he selected and uh, and in the result for the user order we need to design the receipt or the text area with the variable name txa order summary before the code for the receipt we need to declare a data type double temporary variable name total equals to price plus add and the code will be the txa order summary that append the method we use is append we need to use design text which the text is pizza flavor same pizza flavor plus flavor and it depends to the user plus backslash n means new line new line plus text design pizza size plus size plus backslash n backslash n plus add-ons plus backslash n spacing plus owns and depend to the user also plus backslash n three backslash n plus total price plus total variable name the total of price plus add then plus text pesos and we run to a program for first run of program for pizza flavor i use ham and cheese medium size medium size for the pizza size and i select all owns then create order the final output of our project and thank you for the time and i hope you enjoy our project in programming thank you thank, thank you Bye. and god bless